वेलकम टू फिजिक्स कोलेशन सेशन थ्री टूडेज एम ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर सेशन विल बी टू स्टडी इन इलास्टिक कोलेशन टिल नाउ वी आर स्टडी अदर सेशन अबाउट इलास्टिक कोलेशन नाउ विल कॉन्सेंट्रेट ऑन इन इलास्टिक कोलेशन फर्स्ट विल टेक इन हेड ऑन इन इलास्टिक कोलेशन कंसिडर टू स्पीयर मास एम वन एंड एम टू मूविंग विद स्पीड यू वन एंड यू टू in the same straight line if the coefficient of restitution is e then head down inelastic collision energy is lost but momentum is conserved so we can simply use law of conservation of linear momentum by applying law of conservation of linear momentum what we are going to get m1 u1 plus m2 u2 momentum before collision is equal to momentum after collision m1 v1 plus m2 v2 it is equation number 1 since coefficient of restitution is e we can also use newton's law of restitution e is equal to velocity of separation by velocity of approach so here what is the velocity of separation velocity of separation is v2 and v1 velocity of approach is u1 minus u2 velocity of approach u1 should be greater than u2 so u1 minus u2 velocity of separation v2 is greater than v1 v2 minus v1 so from first equation and second equation we can calculate what are the final velocities of the both bodies so from second equation we can write v2 is equal to v1 minus e times of u1 minus u2 this u1 minus u2 i'll bring it over here substituting value of v2 in equation number 1 m1 u1 plus m2 into u2 is equal to m1 v1 now i am going to substitute value of v2 v2 will be v1 plus e into u1 minus u2 let us expand it m1 u1 plus m2 into u2 is equal to m1 v1 plus m2 v1 plus m2 into e times of u1 minus m2 into e times of u2 so what i'll do i'll bring all u1 terms together so what you get m1 minus e times of m2 into u1 plus 1 plus e times of m2 into u2 is equal to m1 plus m2 times of v1 simply we can get the value of v1 what will be v1 equal to it will be m1 minus e times of m2 divided by m1 plus m2 into initial speed u1 plus 1 plus e into m2 divided by m1 plus m2 times of u2 in a similar fashion suppose i substitute value of v1 from equation 2 and solve it we can get the value of v2 also value of v2 will be equal to we can write 1 plus e times of m1 divided by m1 plus m2 into u1 plus m2 minus e times of m1 divided by m1 plus m2 into u2 these will be the final velocities v1 and v2 after collision correct this will be more general formulas which we have derived it suppose e is equal to 1 then it becomes elastic collision if it e is equal to 0 perfect inelastic collision if value of e is given to you in a numerical problem so v1 will be m1 minus e m2 by m1 plus m2 into u if e is 1 m1 minus m2 by m1 plus m2 into u1 like that we have to substitute the values 